Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Uh, this is going to be a quick haul video. It's kind of a collective haul because everything was on buy at one time. This uh, Tarte mascara that I am wearing right now. And I love it. And yeah, here's you know the regular Tarte packaging. So there's that. I also bought the Voluminous Million Lashes that you guys I'm sure were planning about by now. It was okay. It wasn't bad. Um, probably returning this though. Wasn't too impressed by it. Mommy. Yes, baby. Can you show them how how it, how I make a duck. They can't see you. Oh. That's how you make a duck. Uh huh. All right, baby. That's clank, a, clank, clank. That's a beautiful <laughs> duck. Okay. And this time, make a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you keep that. Can I finish? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go sit down and watch TV. I wanna watch TV. All right, baby. Also, what I got, oh my gosh, you guys, I have been on a serious lipstick kick. Like, I, before, I just didn't like wearing it, didn't like dealing with the high maintenance of it. If I did, it would be like a red, bold lip, and it would be once in a blue moon. But, I started experimenting with colors, and of course, reading different reviews that are out there. These four are from the same line. And I love the formula, the way they wear. I really love matte lipsticks. I don't really like like shimmer or pearl or frost, none of that. These lipsticks are gorgeous on. There's just, I can't say enough good things about them. The Wet n Wild, um, I forgot the line, but they're the matte lipsticks. They're gorgeous. The 903C, beautiful. The only downfall I can say is you really have to be careful how you open them because you can see that little bit of lipstick right there. That doesn't go down into the tube, so it's just exposed and you can nick it with the cap as you take the cap off. But that's the color. Very beautiful. I love it. At 901B, like that. Oh my goodness, you guys have to try these lipsticks. They were only like two dollars and seventy cents or something like that. The price is ridiculous for what you're getting. 907C are beautiful. And I got 905D. And you guys have seen this. It's made an appearance on another video. I believe I told you what I was wearing. I might not have. But Soft Nude. This one is popular. I read about it. I read a few reviews before I got it. And it's I love it. Ugh, I love it. It was my first time wearing a nude. I'm so happy I tried it. It's really beautiful. So you can see the color up top. And that's what that looks like. And it's gorgeous. I love it. I love the formula. I love everything about it. Oh my gosh. And this next one ugh, is so vibrant and neon. I love it. <laughs> Revon Super Lustrous Lipstick and Siren. It's a cream finish. And if I put this on right now, I wouldn't even do it justice. I'm telling you, this stuff is like neon orange. It's amazing. It really is. This one is hypnotic. And this one, I'm not too much of a fan of. Maybe I need to try it again. I'm not sure. By CoverGirl, a new line they have. And this one is so gorgeous. I've worn it. It's so pigmented. I had trouble washing it off. It's really beautiful. And the color is spellbound. And the packaging is really nice too. It looks like that. And it's so beautiful. I really, like I'm really into these bold bright colors. I also got, here's one of them. There's like a pack of like four of these little rollers for volume in your hair. Like when for blow drying or letting it dry or whatever. Or setting a style. It was like a pack of like four or six for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So it doesn't hurt once in a while to pop in there and see what they have. Because these are... They, they, work, they work well, too. They really grip your hair, and they don't come out unless you take them out. So, got those. Love those. I also got the Too Faced Lash Injection, which, look, which looks like this. It's a huge tube. And I was really excited to try this because it's supposed to really thicken your lashes, and it has the tubal technology, so they come off in tubes, which is, like, the only thing that doesn't smudge on me other than my newfound love, my Tarte Mascara. But this stuff, I mean, I don't know how it's not amazing. Look at the brush that they put on this thing. I mean, seriously. 
That brush is huge. And mm -mm. this stuff, ooh, the smell is super strong. As thick as this brush is, as much formula or mascara that's on the brush, when you apply it, it's like applying nothing. Like, I literally had to apply one coat, apply a second coat, and it was really flaky and kind of dry and it would it wouldn't coat the lash like smoothly it was like oh it was really weird and I read reviews on it and there's a whole bunch of reviews that I read that described the exact um, way that it went on me it was the way it went on them so that kind of sucks I was hoping this would work out but it didn't but oh, that was like a mini review thrown in there and then I also got the Super Luscious Lipstick and Just Enough Buff, which is also a cream. But when compared to my Revlon Color Burst Lipstick and Soft Nude, the colors are super close. Like when swatched side by side, they almost look identical. They really do. As you can see, they're really close to each other. But the reason that I'm returning this one, this Just Enough Buff, it's because the pigment is nowhere near as strong as this one. Like, this one is pigmented. It doesn't take much to get your lips completely, you know, into this color. But this stuff, at first, like, you swipe it once and it's like nothing is there. And one of my most exciting purchases, because I was looking for a nice makeup mirror that wasn't going to break me 50 bucks or more. So, my old makeup mirror, just rest in peace, just have a moment of silence for this thing. Like, this won't even tighten anymore. It's just hanging out loose. It's so little. It was really... I would have to sit it on top of stuff. Just... It's done. It was like $15 at Walmart. It's by Revlon. And I had it for like a year or two. So... This one has magnetized um, times five on one side and then normal on the other. And it had lighting that you would just turn on right here. But... Yeah, definitely time for an upgrade. What I upgraded to, and it, I don't even think it was on sale, but it cost $35, which is really good because most of the other ones are like 40 and up. And it has magne magnetism or seven times magnetized on one side and normal on the other. It is beautiful. And I'm about to show you it right now. Look at, isn't she gorgeous? And she's huge. Exactly what I needed. Nice and big, because now I can see all of me in there without having to like, lift it up. And this is touch screen. See? $35, what did I say it was? $35. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. It was the last one. I scooped it up, and it's a funny story, because when I went to Alta, they actually lost power. Like, the whole store went black when I was in there. And I was like, this is the last mirror. Can you guys hold it for me, please? And they were great about it. I also got a $5 coupon, which is really cool. That's like a promotion they had going on. Maybe they still have it. I'm not sure. But I'm in love with my mirror, and I'm so happy I found and it. Moving on to what my mom actually bought me and the girls, because she had been... I told her about the Moroccan oil, and so she's using that, and she loves it. And then the macadamia nut, or natural oil this mask right here that everybody's going crazy talking about and i read the ingredients because i've kind of learned a thing or two about the ingredients and what's good and what isn't and this stuff is amazing i'm sure i haven't yet to try it um so i will definitely let you guys know how that works out but we got this and it smells really good too so i'm excited to try that and another popular thing that was out that the lady recommended to my mom when she was there was that it's a 10 mask and the this has a little mask sample but the miracle leave-in product they're both supposed to be amazing i've tried this on my daughter's hair it makes her hair softer so far i like it i don't know if it's worth the cost but we'll see as i keep using it she also got the diva curl 100 sulfate free zero lather conditioning cleanser this is supposed to be formulated for curly hair, which we all have in this house. So I'm really excited to try it. I hope it works out. I have yet to try this also. And I think that... Oh! I recently did some swaps, and I'm really... 
I'm happy with the turnout because I got some beautiful colors. One that was on my list that I got was swimming. It's really pretty green with little like silver glitter in it. Really pretty. But this color, I didn't know I was going to like it this much. Like I knew I wanted it, but I don't know. I don't think I swatched it in the Mac store before because I was like, wow, this is the prettiest blue and it's so into matte. Very pigmented and just beautiful. Tell me, baby. Please. It's called Prussian. Do you guys see that? It's gorgeous. I love this color. I'm really, really looking forward to trying that. I got some elf. These for a dollar? I mean, seriously, there are 50 sheets in here of their blotting papers. And they work just great. So really happy about that. There's no powder or anything on them. They just absorb the excess oil that she got going on. And a dollar at Target. I also got one of Elf's eyeshadow singles from Target. They look like that. They have the cute little eye design on them. I thought this color was so pretty. And it's very pigmented. Like, I was kind of surprised. Do you see that? Really pretty. And I don't have a color quite like that. So that's just on my hand. One swipe. I mean, I'm impressed. For a dollar? That's pretty cool. Recently, uh, I totally forgot to even tell you guys about was the Derma Blend Smooth Indulgence Concealer in the color Sable. And I've really been liking this. I still love my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. It's what I'm wearing today. But on the last few videos you guys seen, I was wearing this. And I really like it. It's a more... It's closer to my skin tone than the Estee Lauder one, so in pictures it never gives me like that kind of like reverse raccoon eye white cast thing that sometimes I can get with the Estee Lauder, which is very minimal when I do get it with that one, with the Estee Lauder. But I really do like it. It has great pigmentation and it looks very natural. It does crease a little, which my Estee Lauder rarely creases, but I'm still trying that out. So... I don't know if I'm keeping it yet or not, but I really do like it. It's my second favorite concealer so far, which is pretty tough to say because I am rough on concealers. <laughs> I'm very picky. I think that that's, that's it for this haul video. So you guys have a beautiful day and have a beautiful weekend. Be safe and I'll see y'all later.